Welcome to Mutakamil Financial Track everyone. This is Ultimate Academy's team and we're going to walk you guys through the financial and the accounting parts of Mutakamil. Our first lecture is going to be an introduction to the system's interface, uh, the tools you're going to be using, how to sign in and so on. So without further ado, we'll get right into it. We'll launch the system first of all to take a look at the interface. All right, so we have this window here where the user can sign in using their credentials. Uh, you can see the system's logo and name and also ERP, which stands for Enterprise Resources Planning. On the right, we can see the version. So we're using version five of the system. And the fields and the variables we have here, uh, they're gonna determine how we sign in and use the system. The first field is for the financial year. And you're going to need to punch in the exact year. It's not going to give you options. The second field uh, is going to be related to the activities number. Um, the third one is branch number. And the one after that is for the user's number. All of those fields, they need to be manually typed in. And of course, we're going to be using codes in all of those fields, not the name of the piece of data that you're entering. So basically, you want to enter the code of your branch, not the name of it or the location. And the same goes for the rest of the fields here. Um, so next we enter the password and we have six different languages to choose from English, Arabic, French, Turkish, Chinese, and Indo Indonesian. Uh, we're going to go for English, obviously. And if you check the variable, uh, remember me, the system will save your login information. Uh, which is going to be your code, the branch number, the activity, and also the financial year. So on the left, uh, we can see the name of this release, which is gold version, the data was set up, and then we just click on OK to access the system. Now let's take a look at the interface. Uh, top left, we have the number, name, and picture of the current user. Underneath it, we have the modules included in Mutakamil. It's basically divided into several managements. We have system admin, um, accounts management, and that's for the general ledger system, inventory, and that one is for uh, the warehouses and the transactions related to them, and also sales and purchases. In the middle of the screen, we have the system's name, um, Mutakamil Professionals, and the initials for enterprise resources planning. Uh, and we also have the name and the logo of the company that created Mutakamil, and that's going to be Yemen Soft. Top right, we have the exit icons, log out and exit. And underneath that, we have a hyperlink that we can use to change the user password. When you click on it, this window comes up and through it, you can change your password. But first of all, you will need to uh, click on edit so it would enable um, data entry in those fields. And after you're done, you will just need to click on save and then the little exit icon to um, close that window. So uh, let's go back to the exit and logout. The difference between both is that sign out or logout, I'm sorry, leaves the system open. So, uh, so you can sign back in using different credentials. So it basically locks the current user out, but it leaves the system running. But as for exit, that just shuts down the system altogether. Underneath these icons, you can see uh, the information related uh, to the branch you signed in with, the name of the activity, and also the financial year, uh, which is 2020 here. And then you can see the name of the information uh, and the information of the client that this license was issued for. You also see a note that this release can be used in the form of a mobile application. This covers the interface or the basics of Mutakamil and next lecture, we're going to start diving into the system a little bit more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And we will be seeing you again soon in the upcoming lecture where we're going to start talking about the system admin.